Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the final round of the regular season of the Swift Racing League. This one is going to be fast and it is flat. This is Paris and this is the Latisse Express. Let's take a look at the tail of tape for this one. It's split distances again with Cats A and B taking on 6 laps for 43.3 kilometres and 236.4 metres of elevation. And for Cats C and D it is 4 laps for 30.1 kilometres, 157.6 metres of elevation. Just the one sprint this week, it's carrying both first across the line and fastest through the segments. And that one is the Champs-Élysées Sprint Reverse. Having a look at the power-ups for this week, and one is the Aero Helmet, which will likely decide the outcome, if not the race, but the overall intermediate points as well. For sure this one is to be used in the sprint sections. Next up's the van. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, use this to give yourself a little bit of rest sitting in the draft. And lastly is the steamroller. It's not a bad choice, but you'll definitely save more watts by having the Aero Helmet. So let's get a look at bike choice this week. And you're definitely going to want to get as aero as possible. So grab the disc wheels, grab the s horse bench, and you'll be laughing. The Tron is a reasonable alternative, but you can't change to the disc wheels on the Tron, so it might not be perfect for this. Anyway, let's get out on course and see what we've got. So you come flying out of the start pens on the left, and it is out onto the course. It falls flat downhill to begin with. Speeds are going to be high, but when you reach about 0.3 kilometers, the road is going to rise up slightly, and you will make your way up towards the Arc de Triomphe. This road is going to peak at a maximum of around 4%, but it doesn't last very long because when you go past that sprint burner on the opposite side of the road, around about 1.3 kilometers, things are going to start to ease off. So you can see it up ahead here, and we are going to head around the Arc de Triomphe and down the other side. And as you come up here towards the Arc de Triomphe, you are going to start getting ready for the sprint. So it's flat around the top of the Arc de Triomphe with the sprint coming out of it. When you hit that last corner, you're going to need to be in the right position or it could all be over. So the sprint is slightly downhill, 220 meters in length. So make sure you absolutely nail it off the roundabout, blow through the pack and take those points. So you'll be hitting the sprint at 2.2 kilometers, 8.8, 15.4, 22.6, 35.2 and 41.8 kilometers. After that, it's on to the downhill section where it gets up to a maximum of minus three. So sit in and watch the speed rise. Things flatten out as you go past the pens. And on the last lap, this is where you're going to want to open up your sprint and go for the line. But that's a long way away yet. So after we go through the banner and we officially start the lap, we'll continue on the flat and onto the false flats along the cobbles. You will eventually get up to the the parking garage. Um, so that's at 4.9 kilometers. It's the descent, 7%. Back up the other side. It's only about 50 meters each way. Not really enough to be worth attacking on. So you come up the other side of the tunnel and it is back on to Falat and False Flat. I think it's going to get to about 1%. Either way, nothing really to write home about. So continue on these cobbles along the, the front of the river here and this will take you back to the start of the recon and the pens on the left hand side. So enjoy your race because it's going to be fast and it is going to be hard, plenty of sprints coming up. So that's us, the regular season is done and dusted um, and let's take a look now at where this race blows apart. So kind of hard to say this week because it's so flat, but of course the start pens, that's definitely going to be where it, uh, where it kicks off. Uh, the only other place I can see this one really kicking off is going to be on that little climb. And I call it a climb, but that little rise up towards the uh, Arc de Triomphe. Uh, it's only going to get to about 4%, but it might just be enough to, to shell off some of the, uh, some of the weaker riders before you come into the downhill and the flat section. So there is the rise at the parking garage as well, but really 50 meters at 7%, if you're still in the front group, that is probably not gonna be enough to, uh, to throw you off. So I wouldn't have thought anybody is gonna go from there. And that's us, we're all done now. The regular season is done, the playoffs are next week. If you're in contention for the playoffs, well done, congratulations. And if not, I hope you've enjoyed the season and these route review videos. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you guys next season.